Hello, you retire me bases. So I'm uh, using a piece of cork. It's cork I got from some cheap houseware. I'm breaking off pieces with uh, my fingers just to form a rough shape, just a bit smaller than the, uh, the plastic base. Using a modeling knife, I'm sculpting some cracks and ridges. Careful not to cut your fingers off. I have a box where I keep all the crap I find laying around. It's my crap box. Looking for crap. I collect pieces of rusty metal I find laying around in the street outside. It's always convenient to have that crap lying around. I use... Um, Five minute epoxy. It gives me about three minutes working time before it hardens. So afterwards, it's just not possible to stick anymore. So I have three minutes to work with. So I'm placing pieces of debris all around the base. I'm leaving a wide area open at the top so I can set the model and have enough space to uh, put the feet and also to uh, visually to leave space. I use a Citadel technical sterling mud to fill the gaps under the cork and uh, just to give some light texture. Go ahead, put it where you like. I also add uh, Astro Granite Debris. It's a rougher uh, texture paint. Gives a rocky texture. More rocky than sandy. I use these paints just for the texture, not the color. I'm gonna paint everything black afterwards, so just going for texture here. Just adding texture. So let it dry, completely dry. Before we move on to the next step. Once it's really dry, I sprayed it with uh, cheap aerosol black. No need for a fancy Citadel spray for this. So I'm giving it a rough brushing of Morphine Brown. That's a base color for the crackling texture paint I'm going to use afterwards. So inside the cracks you'll see the, the dark brown. I'm coating the parts um, I'm going to use crackling with the uh, art coat medium. This is going to help the cracking, cracking the texture paint. It's going to make nice cracks. Once uh, the acrylic medium is well dried, I'm slapping on some uh, ghrelin earth. It's the crackling texture paint from Citadel. I really like the cracks it gives. It's like dry ground. Using big blobs, bigger blobs uh, produce thicker cracks. Using it on the parts, I used the art coat medium, medium uh, acrylic medium gloss. Also, I'm adding some typhus corrosions on the the debris I put on. I'm gonna make some rusty uh, rusty metal parts. This is to give a light, very light texture, rough texture. I left it to dry overnight. I'm quite happy with the texture now. It's got good cracks. Then I'm using a uh, Reckland Fresh Flesh Shade, just in the, the shaded parts. I'm not using it all over, otherwise it's gonna kill the cracks. So just shading some parts, not everywhere, to give it some depth. 
Also, I'm using uh, Agrax Earth Earthshade for the deeper depth, <laughs> deeper shades. Not everywhere, just some shade where uh, sun don't shine. All, uh, once it's really dry, uh, once the shades are really dry, you can start the highlights with a light dry brush. So uh, I'm using uh, Tyrant Skull. Tyrant Skull is uh, dry paint. Really does a good job, I find. The dry paints are really well made for dry brushing. So I take the excess paint off the brush, leaving just a bit of pigment and lightly brushing the, the parts that would be exposed to light. Just the, uh, where the, night, the, the light would naturally hit the raised areas. Just with a light brush, repeating the movement and making the small deposits of pigment. This is dry brush. All over. The words I'm using a uh, riser rust on the parts I use typh typhus corrosion. This is to give the rusty texture on some metallic parts. Once the riser is done, I'm going to uh, make it more metallic using a uh, shiny metal uh, stormhost silver just to give some metallic uh, highlights, just some accents. Got a light uh, metallic brush, very light. Now I'm going to add some shrubbery. Just a little spot of paint and then add the shrubbery where the where vegetation could survive so underneath where there's some shade and some humidity left maybe think like a plant this uh, shrubbery i'm using is way too green in my taste so i'm using some athonian camo shade just to uh, tone it down Make it darker. Also, I'm even going to put some uh, null oil black shade to make it even darker. Then I'm going for some uh, green accents on the, the leaves just to make it a bit greener. This is quite dark. Now I'm just going to bring out some leaves. Grass. And then I'm going to dry the grass, like the tips are drying off with the sun and the drought, with some uh, Tao light ochre. That's where the dead, dead leaves, dead dried leaves. Afterwards, I'm using a blue tack on a piece of cork just to hold the base while I'm, I paint the lower border, the lower part, all around. I'm using rhinoxide, diluted with water, and I'm going to give it uh, two or three light coats so it's, that it doesn't blob, it doesn't make those, that brush texture, keep it really light. Do it two or three times around. And uh, voila! So that's the base done. Thanks for watching.